All right, today our viewer question is, what is the best way to deal with stomach ulcers? Oh my, this can potentially be a long answer. I'll try and condense it down. Uh, let's uh, take a, a, a second word first. An ulcer is a sore. And if you're actually speaking the, the exact anatomy, stomach ulcers, that's, an, that's a sore in the wall of that large organ that your food drops into. And uh, what causes them, we used to think it was stress and too much hot chili peppers. Uh, but uh, now we understand most of them are due to a bacteria in the water called helicobacter. And you can uh, diagnose that with a stool test. Um, but sometimes, sometimes uh, the term that people have stomach ulcer, it's not really in the stomach. It's in the duodenum, that passage that leads out of the stomach. That's a much more common place. And, uh, and, and stomach acid will tend to pool down there and uh, the bacteria can also pool down there and invade there. So many of these so-called stomach ulcers are really duodenal ulcers. And just to complete the vocabulary there, anything having to do with the stomach and the duodenum uh, and the upper intestine, um, that's the, the peptic region. These are both in the category of peptic ulcers. You may have heard that term. Um, that uh, sells uh, antacids, pepsid, et cetera. Anything that's peptic has to do with your stomach and, and the duodenum. Okay, um, what to do? Uh, get a proper diagnosis. If you've got a steady, boring pain and it turn feels like someone's got a drill and they're boring in there, especially if it radiates to your back, uh, if it gets worse after you eat when your stomach puts out a gush of acid, uh, and you really feel that pain more severely. And certainly if you vomit up any blood or you pass any dark stools, uh, you want to see your doctor and get that checked out. Uh, and somewhere along the line, someone should slide, uh, numb up the back of your throat and slide a little skinny scope down there and have a look uh, at the wall of your stomach uh, with bright light, take some pictures and see if there is an ulcer. Why? One, you can diagnose it. And two, they can take their little biopsy forces and take a little piece of it because every once in a while, it's a malignant ulcer. Every once in a while, it's really looking at a, a form of stomach cancer. Uh, <clears throat> cancers that do edema are rare. Stomach cancers in, in the actual uh, wall of the stomach are not that rare. And I think they're actually, they're increasing. So get a diagnosis before you, you have just an upset stomach. Oh, I have stomach ulcer. If you use that term, uh, you're really kind of obligated to see a doctor, get a true diagnosis. If they actually see, yes, it's an ulcer, we took a little piece of it, it's benign, it's not cancerous, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, stop doing things that uh, irritate it. Uh, stop hot chili peppers and probably raw garlic and onions for a while. Uh, and talk to your doctor about a short course of antibiotics uh, to get rid of that uh, bacteria, helicobacter. Uh, I would not take probiotics afterwards, actually. Let, let, the, let the balance restore itself. Uh, we used to think it's a good idea to give probiotics after antibiotics. Now we see it actually, the, the probiotics slow down the rebalancing of the gut flora. So I really backed off of that as well. So treat helicobacter if you have it. Um, you can use these acid suppressing agents. Uh, the H2 blockers and the PPIs, the proton pump inhibitors, you can use them, but just until the ulcer heals, a month, you know, four weeks, eight weeks, 12 at the most, and then stop it. Uh, do not uh, keep taking these month after month after month after month. That stomach acid is there for a reason. And <clears throat> you need that stomach acid to absorb vitamin B12, you need to absorb iron, you need to absorb calcium, you need to kill bacteria on the food. If you turn that off month after month after month, you risk malabsorbing B12, malabsorbing iron, osteoporosis and calcium malabsorption, uh, and all sorts of strange microbes growing down in your gut there that should have been killed off by your stomach acid. So circle the calendar. I will be, if I've got this boring stomach pain, I will be on the Pepsid or the Prevazid for six weeks, eight weeks, and then stop them and sigh. If the pain's gone, stop them, but do not stay on them long-term. 
Uh, if you do that, uh, the and you've guaranteed that it's not, you know, that there's a benign ulcer, uh, the short course of antibiotics, but usually just time, uh, stop the alcohol, stop the hot, thermally hot drinks, uh, and again, the really irritating foods. And if you do that, plus or minus the, the antibiotics, if it's really troublesome, and uh, your stomach also should heal. It's not a lifetime uh, diagnosis, that's for sure. So be good your stomach lining and the ulcer will uh, eventually just fade away. Hi everyone, Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.